Hi guys, um, hi today. Um, this is Alan from Hero Safe Financial. So, um, a new corner here. Um, I will answer some of the comments you guys put in the comment um, box down there. So, um, well, I got two comments yesterday um, asking me what was the um, indicator I used and uh, what is the minimum deposit. So, uh, well, I answered one by one. So, first, what is the indicator I used in the video yesterday? Oh, well, um, I basically used two indicators. One is the um, Bollinger Bands and then the other one is the MACD. Um, both of them are really basic indicators and um, as long as you follow my instruction, uh, I'm sure you're going to make some profit as well. Alright, um, move on to the second one. Um, what is the minimum deposit? Um, well, um, I'm actually um, working for Hirose Financial so um, the minimum deposit for Hirose Financial is $20 so um, if you want to know more on how to deposit um, you can um, just um, put a comment down there again and I will answer it for you and um, well I mean if you guys have any question um, I will encourage you to put, your, put it in the comment there and um, I will answer your question every day and um, I hope that we can uh, make some profit together so uh, yep let's start the trade for today um, yesterday I actually end up with um, $55 profit and um, let's start the trade for today and see how much I'm gonna make alright so um, from here we can see that the candlestick is actually almost touching the, um, the upper band so I would say it's a good sign for the Bollinger Band and I'm just gonna wait for a bit for the MACD yep I got the signal from the MACD as well so uh, I just I just place a low option here just gonna wait for a bit to see how it goes well um, it's a bit close well um, yep is um, getting lower than my entry line, uh, entry point in um, the last 10 seconds. Well, it's a bit close now. A bit worried. Yep. So, uh, 30 seconds, 170 dollar profit. Um, let's move on to the next one. Well, um, a lot of people actually ask me um, when is actually the best timing from the Bollinger Bands but um, what I can say is that it will um, kind of depends on your experience because um, um, you don't actually need the candlestick to touch the Bollinger Bands but um, as long as it gets close in love to it I would say it's a good sign so um, yep just um, practice a bit more on it and I'm, I'm sure you're gonna get it and um, from here, yep, again, I see the um, candlestick is touching the lower band and um, there's a sign from the Bollinger Band and then uh, we'll move to the MACD for the confirmation. Yep, almost there. Let's wait for a bit more. Now I got the confirmation from the MACD and I just placed another trade here. Last few seconds. Well, this is actually really close, but uh, well, I ended up in profit again. So um, $170 in profit. Well, um, for this strategy, I actually like it when it's in um, range market because um, the, pr uh, the price moved up and down. And then when it touched the upper band, I placed low. When it touched the lower band, I placed high um, just to, to, to combine with the MACD. Um, actually um, quite a lot of trading chances if uh, if the price is in range market yep. um, now I will browse a bit more on different currency pairs to look for the best the best one to trade with 
Just gonna fast forward a bit here. All right, right, right there. Um, I, I see both um, signal from the Berlin Japan's and the MACD, and um, just place another option with high. Um, just right after I place it, um, the, the price is starting to go up now, and uh, well, it's not looking too bad here. Just gonna wait for a bit more. Yep. Well, wow. um, I think I'm safe here now. Yep, another $170 profit. That's uh, well, three trades in a row, and um, that's I think around $200 profits now. So let's take a look at the history. Yep, $210 profit um, with just three trades. Um, well, today is kind of my lucky day. That's the quickest profit I get ever. So uh, 3 trades, $210 profit, but um, I will call it for a day here and um, I will see you guys again tomorrow, bye!